The majority of Americans want Obamacare repealed, but the liberal media continue to promote it. They're pushing a left-wing agenda and calling it news. It's time the liberal media tell the truth. Go to tellthetruth2010.org and join the fight. To News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. George W. Bush's memoir, Decision Points, is selling very well. And unlike GM or Chrysler, Bush didn't need a federal bailout or a government takeover. <laughs> An Islamic group is telling Muslim women who wear traditional head coverings to refuse full body searches at the airport. The group also urges men who carry box cutters to do the same. <laughs> China is planning to buy a stake in General Motors. This purchase will be added to China's other holdings, such as the United States of America. <laughs> a government panel reviewing stimulus package waste will meet for a week-long retreat at the Ritz-Carlton in Phoenix. It's the biggest example of liberal hypocrisy since Al Gore's anti-global warming monster truck rally. <laughs> In Alabama, a shop that sells sex toys is opening a drive through window. And the weird thing is, they still ask if you want to try a McRib. <laughs> the state of Virginia may soon offer Tea Party license plates. These new license plates will have no numbers or letters, because it's none of the government's darn business. <laughs> Cubans are upset with a new video game that allows the player to kill Fidel Castro. The game involves giving a sick Castro the same medical care as the average Cuban. <laughs> and finally, Girls Gone Wild founder Joe Francis recently got married. And if you want to get him a gift, he's registered at Creighton Douchebag. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. We'll be off next week for Thanksgiving, but we'll be back November 30th with all new episodes. Have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll catch you next time.